So consider the following situation, which involves two options. To determine which op option is less expensive, are there unstated factors that might affect your decision? You currently drive 420 miles per week in a car that gets 25 miles per gallon. You're considering buying a fuel efficient car for 14000 after trade in on your current car that gets 50 miles to the gallon. Mm -hmm. Insurance premiums for the new and old car are 1200 and 900 per year, respectively. You anticipate spending $800 per year on the 40 pairs on the old car and having no repairs on the new car. Soon gas costs $3 per gallon over a five year period, which is less expensive to keep your old car or buy the new car. Okay. Determine the total cost over a five year period for each option, new car or old car. Start with the cost of keeping the old car. Prorate any expenses corresponding with the year expense. Uh, note that the cost, only cost for the old car. It is not given as yearly expenses the cost of gas. So to prorate the cost of gas on a yearly basis so they can do it for a year. First determine how many miles are driven per year. Since the 52 weeks in a year, what's the number of miles driven per week by 52? So 450 times 52 weeks means the person drove the car 22,000 miles in a year. So how many gallons would that be? So we know the car gets 25 miles to the gallon, so they used approximately 800 divided out. They used approximately 884 uh, gallons. Okay, so since it's $3 a gallon, the cost for the year would be times three, which would be $2,652 per year. Okay, so note that the insurance premium and cost for repairs are given yearly expenses to so the insurance and the cost for repairs, insurance. Mm -hmm. And the cost for repairs is $800. So you end up spending uh, $4,352. Okay. So that's per year for the old car. So to find out how much that's going to be for five years, multiply by five. That gives you $21,760. Okay. So that's how much it's going to cost to keep the old, the old car for five years. Now find the cost of buying the new car over the five year period. Again, the cost of gas is not given as a yearly expense since the number of miles driven does not change. So the number of miles is still 2,100 miles per year. In this case here, it's a different number, different number of gallons. The miles per gallon is different on a new car. It's 50 miles per gallon. So the person use it for the new car, they use 442 gallons. And then at, this is per year, at $3 a gallon, they're spending $1,326 a year in gasoline. Since it's a new car, they're gonna pay more for insurance. So add those two together, it's 2,500. Okay, that's twenty five hundred twenty six dollars a year. So the cost of the new car is going to be the cost of the car plus the the maintenance up here, uh, twenty five twenty six times five, which comes to be twenty six thousand six hundred thirty dollars. So you have the cost there. Keep the old car is twenty-one thousand, and the cost of buying the new car is twenty-six thousand. It's cheaper to keep the old car. Unstated factors could include the interest and the number of years on any loans taken out to buy the car, any payments for purchase in the old car, and the number of payments remaining, depreciation, future resale value for each car government incentives to purchase a fuel-efficient car and the time value of money and inflation.